In this video, we are going to see about the directives, Angular directives. Okay. Directive is a concept, okay, in Angular. So, which is used to fetch all the attributes and behaviors elements in the HTML to the DOM element, which is like, uh, you know, J in jQuery, we have like concepts like if you want to, if you want to, hide or show something means in just to touch it you want to show or hide some elements from the dom tree means it will be first listed away and then only it will be hided in the dom tree itself so it takes so much of time in the loading in angular what are all the elements what are all the structure which is needed to show the html file only be loaded at the time of page loading so it saves a lot of time once if any changes are there then the total structure will be rebuilt and it will not take that much time that's the main benefit of angular directives okay so uh, guys we have three types of directives one is components so we have components in angular so they are the basic building blocks of the fun of the angular so these components are one of the directives the basic directives okay then we have attribute directives it will be uh, used as an attributes to any elements so it just add a lot like an attribute to an element uh, for example we have an element like uh, page and id is equal to one okay so this html uh, tag has page and id one the page is a page element and id is equal to 1 is the id is the particular attribute name and 1 is the attribute value so that in that manner it adds changes to the attributes and that's why he changes the structure of the particular elements particular behaviors for that particular uh, uh, element okay so that is attribute directives main usage so it behaves on element component or another directive also and third one is structural directives so structural directives are mainly for uh, reshaping the components if for example we have a if condition so based on that condition the, the two conditions only one condition will be placed right so or if we have a for loop so we can have 10 10 for loop prints or 20 for loop prints or one print so based on that the structure will be reshaped right so those things are present in this inside this okay and in structural directives i have given an example also so structural directives you know it will be uh, changing the structure we already see it right and we have two types of structural directives here one is ng for and another one is ng if okay so ng for is used to uh, it, in simple terms it is like a for loop in any programming language okay and ng if is like a uh, normal uh, if statement comparison only but here in angular we are giving it in a we are proceeding it in a different manner see for the first example we are saying like li star ng for is equal to let movie of movies okay so it has been printed as a list okay so movie of movies means movies is a collection which contains so many movies present inside this so we have a movie object of this movies collection so this movie will be taking each of the elements in the collection so one two three four like that it will print one by one okay that is the main concept of this like okay movies is a collection means collection of movies will be presented inside a storage structure okay and movie is an object which will be it which will be proceeded like one two three under under way it will be printed one by one and next we have movie detail is start ng if is equal to selected movie so once the people based on some selections they will select a movie that will be printed out here so that is the if condition which is doing here okay so instead of a star ng for you can also use angular packets so sorry angular bracket not square brackets inside the square bracket if you are giving ng for or ng if means it will also do the same thing like star 
so instead of the square bracket we are putting a star okay there is no much difference between that so rather than adding or remove the removing the elements based on the conditions it automatically removes uh, in the previous list and once it is added means the dom structure it will be creating a uh, okay I already told like uh, attribute directive is a directive like uh, paragraph and paragraph element we have id is equal to 1 and id is the attribute name and 1 is the attribute value so in attribute directive it will be working as the same thing but uh, we see previously right star ng is equal to selected movie in that kind of cases it will work we will see that is the example okay here we have an input element and we have a ng model which is equal to movie.name what it does simply ng model in the sense uh, that is also within the uh, brackets which is enclosed by a square bracket is equal to movie.name means based on the mod based on the model changes here the movie name will be automatically changed that is the power of attribute directive so here it works on the same way and if it is changing here it will be changed over there like that vice versa okay so components are the directives basic directives so which has an html file that is template file and on a style sheet file and it it both combines into this component.ts file and components are the basic uh, viewers for the uh, pages so it's a basic directive thanks team thanks for the support and uh, please go through the video and uh, have the knowledge crack the interview and understand the concept well thanks